In this video, I'm gonna show you how we can create this rain effect using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey what's up guys, Thrill here and as you can see this is the final output. Now for this tutorial, I'm gonna use this stock photo that I found on davinta.com and I'm also gonna use this uh, brushes. And if you want to download them, the brush and the stock photo, the download link is in video description. So feel free to use it. Now to create this effect, first of all, we have to remove the watermark. So I'm going to go and select my crop tool and make sure delete pixel is on. Then I'm going to go and crop it. Looks good. Then go and confirm it. After that, double click on your background here and hit OK. Uh, select your move tool, hold your shift key and move her in the center. So the composition looks better great now we have to cut her out from the background so go and select your quick selection tool from here and make sure it is on plus uh, and make it bigger using bracket keys uh, and make a selection and if you want to remove it from somewhere go and select your minus one make the brush smaller and you can remove it now so the selection is ready after that go and click on this layer mask button so we have a layer mask after that go and create a new blank layer from here uh, and put it under your model layer now select your paint bucket tool from here and fill it any color whatever doesn't matter so the color is on after that right click and select blending option then go and select gradient overlay here make sure you have this uh, bl uh, sorry black and white gradient from here hit ok uh, style is radial uh, and make it reverse so dark is outside uh, make the scale 100 percent and then you can change the angle a little bit more so you can fade it nicely uh, so yeah that is looking good uh, and simply hit ok so the background is done now activate your layer 0 the model one press ctrl j so we can make a copy then double click and rename it to backup so in case we screw up something, we have mask ready. So put it under here, doesn't matter now. Uh, select your original layer zero here. Uh, activate your layer mask, right click, and then select apply layer mask. Then go to image, adjustment, and select shadows and highlights. Now first thing you do is make the shadows 0%. And if it doesn't look something like this, or something like this, then go and select show more option. You have it. Uh, make the shadow zero, uh, highlight in the middle like that and make the radius halfway here uh, and tonal width uh, it completely up to you like how darker you want to make it. So this is enough. Uh, it's a rainy time so a little darker image will work better. Uh, so this is looking uh, pretty good and I'm gonna go and hit OK. So the model and background is done. Now we can add in the water splash and for that go and create a new blank layer from here this one select your brush tool and in the brush one set is water splash and that will allow you this brushes so i think this one looks really good uh, activate it now it's ridiculously large so for that go and click on this little option here so here first of all uh, go to brush tip shape here uh, and make it a bit smaller uh, so i think this small is good somewhere around like three four hundred then uh, decrease the spacing a little bit and after that go and turn on your shape dynamics for here activate it and here make sure your size jitter is 100% and angle jitter, uh, jitter is also at 100% so this is looking really good then you just simply go and drag your brush all over here now we can't see it because it's black uh, so I'm gonna go and make sure my color is white because we want water to be white so my color is white uh, and my opacity here that is also 100% important thing then uh, settings are ready and I'm gonna go and start painting uh, just like this and a little bit here too so this is trial error uh, at first it might not come out really good so keep doing it make your brush smaller bigger different style uh, so for tutorial I think yeah this is good enough I guess uh, a little bit here too in case if you want really heavy rain so I think this is looking really good great then go and close it now we need to add the rain and for that again go and create a new blank layer and let's name it rain 
so this is going to be bigger drops so for that select your brush uh, and go and select in the brush menu select uh, this one uh, yeah this one 966 as you can see here this is pretty good then make your brush really big use your uh, bracket keys to make it big uh, i think this big yeah th this is good so it covers entire area and click there your rain is ready looks a little bit weird i know so press ctrl t hold shift key and make it a little bit bigger so you know it covers the canvas nice uh, so that is good and confirm it after that you go to filter blur and you go and select motion blur now in the motion blur your angle has to match the direction of drops uh, so i think uh, this one uh, a little bit off guard 70 uh, 60 60 should be 65 is good yeah looking good hit ok and then go and change the opacity to somewhere around like 50% or something so it knocks very distracting uh, so this is looking good after that go and create another blank layer and this one I'm gonna name it rain 2 and confirm it this time you go and select uh, the one has little bit smaller drops so this one looks good right uh, and for the size uh, I think this big no too small uh, I'm gonna make it this big uh, yeah this is looking good so do multiple clicks doesn't matter it won't look repetitive uh, so this is going good uh, bit C here and there and perfect now again what do we do we go to filter blur and motion blur and use the same blur that you used last time and then go and hit ok so the main rain is done uh, now we can add in a little bit texture so for that go and create a new blank layer from here lots of blank layer in this tutorial <laughs> uh, after that select your paint bucket tool uh, and select your color to be black here uh, fill it then go to filter noise and go and select add noise so add decent amount of noise uh, i think 180 looks good hit ok then you go to filter blur and again motion blur uh, so this is looking good but this time on the distance you're gonna make it full like like seriously extremely full so looking good hit ok then go and change its blending mode to either screen or you can go with the soft light so soft light is too dark i'm gonna go with screen uh, and change the opacity to 50 percent uh, still too bright so right click and select blending options and in the blending option as you can see this layer so you hold your alter key and then you drag the slider from here all the way here so now if i turn it on and off see hit ok and for the overall effect see a little bit of texture feeling looks nice then you go and create another blank layer from here uh, paint bucket uh, same process fill it uh, you go to filter noise add noise but this time you add a little less noise somewhere around like uh, yeah 40 50 percent is good uh, yeah okay 100 is better hit okay then you go to filter uh, where is it you guessed it blur and motion blur but in the motion blur this time you keep your dots to the minimum uh, so i think 60 uh, 30 40 is good so as you can see here this type of pattern then go and hit ok then you go to image adjustment and you go and select levels in the levels you gotta go and take your midtones to this way the right side as you can see so now the texture has started looking better and you can make it brighter if it doesn't look noticeable uh, so i think this is good hit ok then go and change its blending mode to screen so now if I turn it on and off, as you can see that subtle texture, uh, let me zoom in. As you can see this little texture, yeah, this, this makes it really good. Then you can go and change the opacity uh, if you don't like it too heavy. So I think somewhere around like 60-70%, yeah, looks pretty good. Now the rain and texture is looking really good, so we can start focusing on background. Uh, we need to do a little bit of adjustment. So for that, I will start with my actual background here. Uh, I will create new adjustment layer and I will select curves and I will make it a little bit darker uh, so go as long as you like so I think this darker looks good and close it and make sure your curves is exactly on top of your background layer okay so this is looking good 
but then I will select my brush tool and in the brush I will go and select the regular round brush that we use really soft and I will select my black color so we have curves ready here right so in the layer mask I will go and remove it from the bottom so this will allow us to create effect like this see it gives it more it makes background more interesting like that see perfect and we can do the same thing with the model see model it's a little bit more colorful for rain effect so what do you do you go and create a new adjustment layer and you select hue saturation you right click and then you select create clipping mask so it will only affect your model see so this time i'm gonna make uh, the saturation somewhere around like 24 minus 24 okay so we can get rid of a little bit of color perfect uh, and you can always go back to curves and adjust it anytime you like so i think this dark is more than enough and a little bit uh, less opacity on this layer so all the setup is ready and now we can do some adjustment so for that uh, select your top layer right here you go and create a new blank layer then you press ctrl alt shift and e so now if i select my move tool and move it as you can see we have a jpg inside document and let me close it here so after that you go to image adjustment and then you select shadows and highlights this time again make the shadow zero uh, amount somewhere around like highlight 40 40 percent and radius turn it down a little uh, and tonal width uh, keep also on in control uh, so now if i turn it on enough it gives it little bit that monsoony feeling you know that dark uh, atmosphere that we have it's really important and spend enough time at this part okay uh, so i think a little bit of highlights uh, let's turn it on and off and a little bit of tonal width so i think it's looking pretty decent at this moment uh, yeah so that's that's looking nice and then i'm gonna go and simply hit okay so this is looking good eh? but uh, we can make it even better so for that you go and press ctrl j so we have a copy of this final layer right then you go to filter and you go to filter gallery and in the filter gallery i'm gonna zoom out so you can see properly uh, here you have this option for plastic wrap as you can see here in the highlight strength my numbers are 5 detail 8 and smoothness 9 if your picture is different it will work differently so play around until you get the output you like uh, so this is looking pretty good simply go and hit ok now obviously it's everywhere and we don't need that so for that uh, you go and apply a layer mask select your brush tool make sure you have a soft round brush a uh, color is black and the opacity somewhere around like 40 percent it's pretty good uh, then you go and remove it a little bit from the face but you don't remove it completely okay now that's the key don't remove it entire see uh, and a little bit from her skin here uh, and from the surrounding now you go and make the opacity 100 percent and you remove it completely at first see like this so we have natural naturalish <laughs> rain then go and change the opacity back to 30 40 percent and you bring it back in parts using white color change the color to white and you bring it back it's a bit see here and there like that so you know this way if i turn it on and off it gives it that little bit of watery feeling and then you go and create new adjustment layer and then you select color balance and in every tone in mid tone a little bit of cyan uh, not too much okay keep it in control a little bit of blue then you go to shadows a little bit of cyan a little bit of blue same with the highlights little bit of cyan and a little bit of blue but it's obviously way too strong if you like this mode good for you uh, but for me i'm gonna go and make it the opacity lump somewhere like 30 40 percent so if i turn it on and off see that subtle blue tint i really like that so that's it and this is the final output so let's look at the after before uh, this is the original file that we started uh, and this is the final output and i really hope that you guys learned something from this video if you did hit that like button and share it with your friends and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions uh, feel free to ask me in comment section below till then goodbye
Take care and have some fun with Photoshop.